Hey, opposing good day, everybody. This is Sports for Nine News. I'm Joe Borica. If everyone's having a good start to their Tuesday morning, this is going to be a quick recap on the USA falling to Canada 4-2 to two after a very good 5-on-5 five five effort, but the power play is the thing that faltered to allow them to lose this game rather than end up on the other side of the column in the win column in the prelims. But as they said on the broadcast today, the prelim matchup West history tolls doesn't really matter in the end. Uh, when it gets to the gold medal game, USA lost that last Olympics, won the gold medal game. So, um, and then with other teams that, that I can't remember the examples they gave, they had it <clears throat> up there. But either way, it, it doesn't, history doesn't serve that if you lose that game, you're going to lose the gold medal game. It, it, it's literally just a fight to the end in the gold medal game, usually between USA and Canada, and then Finland gets in there as well. Um, at times, being probably the third or fourth uh, country when it comes to the uh, women's track. But there, it, w with Canada, there was a nice setup in front for a goal for Team Canada to start the game. And then um, there was a nice pass in front uh, where Debian made the first save, but then she wasn't able to make the second for USA to be able to tie the game um, for their tying goal. And then, of course, Carpenter, who decided to stay hot, uh, scored a one on the power play on a beautiful top-shelf Crosby-esque backhand. That was one of those just vintage Crosby brings to the backhand and absolutely roof shit type backhanders. And then Jenner answered right back, though, 26 seconds later to tie the game. That's never what you want when you're trying to grab some momentum if you're USA. Uh, that's when they were ba that that's the one play they were really bad five one by because you can't score and then immediately twenty six seconds later like the Philadelphia Flyers pretty much let another team score so that's not going to be the way to success as displayed by that team with the poster back there this season uh, Rat Tray uh, then scored to give Canada the lead and then they never really looked back from that a uh, pull and then made it four to two on a penalty shot. And you're not stopping one of the most talented people on the ice 90% of the time when you give them a penalty shot. So, uh, and obviously that's not actually the stat, but I'm just saying, like, it feels like that when you give it to the best of the best out there. So, USA kind of set themselves up for failure in this game, but I thought as a whole, they actually didn't play a terrible game 5-on-5 five five minus the 26-second goal. Their issue in this game that they set themselves up for failure with was they didn't capitalize on the power play. They could have had this be a completely different game if they capitalized on the power play and then really honed it in, the second thing, but this isn't even as big of a point as capitalizing on the power play, was if they really honed it in defensively. and you, it, you can't let a team score 26 seconds later when you take the lead. So that's pretty much my takes on this game. USA, I still think, is going to do very well moving forward. They're still going to have a very good track moving forward. So hopefully, uh, barring any upsets, if they don't get upset, they will be Team Canada and USA again in the gold medal game. And then we'll get to see part two and see what happens, if it's similar to 18 or if it's reversed. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a reaction to Team Canada versus Team USA. Please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-use widget. Keep us growing to 200 by the end of the month of February, and enjoy the rest of the hockey, everybody. Peace out.